It was supposed to have been a debate between dancehall artist Mr. Vegas He had the Black Panther And the controversial pastor Gino Jennings You are liars of hell <laughs> My God, something's common sense A righteous woman Laying naked At the YMCA in Kingston on Sunday afternoon the debate was spawned by comments made by the American pastor last December about church women attire. Toenails painted with little fake diamonds in it. Your hey. toes ain't richer. You are nothing but a prostitute. The debate got ugly when Mr. Vegas demanded that the viral video be played for the pack congregation. Sit play the tape, down. play the tape. I'm already here. Sit him. I'm down. already here. But the fiery pastor would not have anyone giving instructions in his congregation. So what was this event about? Well, I thought the event was going to be about um, a discussion mm -hmm. that um, Gino Jennings wanted to have with me about some things that he said about um, women in the church. You got church hoes? That's what you are. You're a bunch of church hoes. That was the understanding I, I got from the um, induced invitation. Okay. So it, was, it would have been a discussion with an audience. Was it church? Or was it a conference? What was it? Well, I later found out that it was a convention mm -hmm. um, for his body. Of, his body. Yes. Um, meaning his church. So um, members were there? Yes. Were present? Yes. So mm -hmm. when I heard it was now a convention, I thought it was going to be like Churches of Jamaica. Okay. You understand, like the churches in Jamaica, different um, denominations. Mm -hmm. um, but however, it was just his church, which is First Church. So how did you get on it in the first place? In I knew about it after the fact. Okay. I, I heard about it via the, the, the Jamaica Star. Mm -hmm. They reached out to me for an interview. And I said, what are you talking about? They said, yes, you have a debate with Gino Jennings. And I was like, what? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not even going to be in Jamaica. Um, so I, I got hold of the person, the contact person for Gina Jennings, and I wrote an email to the person. And um, no, the person actually sent me an email. I think the star said, Mr. Vegas don't know about it, so forth, so forth. And they found my email, I think, online. And they sent me an email after the fact. But it was meant to formalize the, your appearance? I would think so. OK. But, and, so, and you accepted? I wanted my lawyer to write them, mm -hmm. to remove uh, my likeness and image from the billboards and stuff like that. But after, you know, Sleeping on it for 24 hours and remembering what Gina Jenny said about the women in the church mm -hmm. being prostitutes and whores for wearing makeup and hair and nail polish and all these things. I said, you know what? Maybe I need to go address this audience because I know how his church is set up. The men on one side, the women on one side. And I wanted to go there and challenge the women to think critical. Because you knew from the get-go that right. this would be about this issue. Right. Statements that right. he had made right. about right. women. Right. I was willing to go there and, 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 and say to his face that he's wrong. Mm -hmm. And um, I asked for a certain amount of time to, to make my point. Um, the time I asked for it was reduced and I accepted. And I clearly stated, which I have recorded enough, that I will not be going in a back and forth battle over scripture in the church with Gino Jennings. Okay. Because I know I cannot go into the church and share some of my views that I have, especially with people that are following this prophet who is saying everything in the book that they're reading is from God. So you didn't know that the audience would be the church members and so on. You thought it would be a neutral audience? No, 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 no. I didn't know it was going to be just his church. Okay. If you understand something like Pentecostal church, I didn't know it was just going to be Pentecostal church. And that was going to be a mixture of people from the church who did not share his views also. Okay, so you wanted right. people, a mixed audience, for him to justify right. statements made. Right, right, because I, I already knew that his audience accepted it. Yes, but why did they invite you, Vegas? Why you? What did you do to be invited? All right, now that the situation unfolded, mm. I, I now know why. Because I've been very vocal for the past few months about my journey, about the indoctrination, about how they stole our identity, how they removed our consciousness and replaced it with their doctrine. And you mean you have been vocal in social right, media? Right, right. So a lot of people are seeing these things. So I am now like the Antichrist. So by any means, try to get him into a situation, try to drag him into a situation where you can basically kill the devil, quote unquote, destroy the devil, destroy the demon. 
Okay. Because I've heard this before from others, you know, but now I'm seeing it played out. It's, 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 it's like a deja vu, you understand? So mm -hmm. I think the whole thing was not so much about the debate about what he said, because these people... You did comment on what he said. Right, of course. Social media. Of course, but what I said, I was not even against him. Oh, so that couldn't have given you No, because I was actually laughing and saying he is saying these things because it's in the Bible. So they were watching a page. Right. I, I'm sure he, he did not watch, watch what I said. 100%. Not about that particular issue, but some of the, 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 the anti-Christian... No, not the anti-Christian. Some of your critique the of The anti-Vegas, yes. Yes. Your critique of Christendom yes. Yes. is what led to the... Right, so they said, you know what, you. here is an opportunity to drag him into this situation. And we're going to hire some security. So I went there. They said I was going to speak for 20 minutes. I said, okay. They said, oh, they wanted a back and forth with the Bible with Gina Jennings. I said to the guy, you're crazy. In a church, they can't go tell them people, they say, the things in the Bible, is man make it up. Mm. They are going to throw me out of my head. They have it recorded, right? So we agreed that, okay, I'm going to speak. Or I was on the understanding that I'm going to speak, then he would do his sermon. And after his sermon, if he plays the tape, then we could go biblical where I can show him that, listen, there are women in the Bible that God blessed who wore jewelry. There are women in the Bible that wore jewelry that saved Israel. Mm. There are places in the Bible that is saying, yo, it's not about what you wear. So if you're going to take, pick some scriptures to demonize or degrade women, then I'm going to call you out. And I'm going to prove to you with your Bible that it is not correct, whether biblically or morally. But you wanted to reference... The statements he had made. I wanted to play the, the controversial statements. When he started lying that he did not say it, I said, play the tape. Because he wanted to, he wanted me and him to go in a back and forth, back and forth, and they turned my mic down so he could be, you know, pouring over me and all kind of stuff. So, and I realized what was going on. So I said, listen to me. With all due respect, you speak. And after when you finish, to when you're finished, I will answer your questions. So I was making my notes and stuff like that. But listen to me. The whole thing was basically set up to get me there. It appears you lost your cool. No, at no point. You didn't? You didn't? Well, yeah. you, were, you were calling out the man and yeah, calling him, you were calling the pastor mm -hmm. in front of if his congregation. Go again. A liar, mm -hmm. false prophet. Mm -hmm. Weren't you? After he did what? After? Well, I'm not so sure what he did. He called me a hypocrite. Oh, yes, he did call you a, Thank a, you. a hypocrite. Thank you. And you called him a liar. No, I say, you are the hypocrite, and you are a liar, yes. and you are a deceiver. Say, so isn't that losing cool? No, no, he's speaking the truth, because I was the bigger person, Yes. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I was the one who was walking away from him, and okay. he kept walking me down, hounding me all over the place, mm -hmm. and his highly testosterone, mm -hmm. leaders behind him, followers behind him, was cheering him on, and he was basically revving up the audience mm -hmm. to... Basically make his point. The guys in the front, they were like, go ahead, come off my stage. And I was like, sir, can I speak? Go back and watch it. I said, can I speak? I held my hand up like I was in class because I think of a YMCA is a, is a school, right? Yeah. So I was in class. I said, can I speak? And I was saying that for like forever. Yes, but it was after you, you called him Paul's Prophet, Maybe that sting. That he decided that they should cut your mic. Maybe that sting, right? And escort you from the building. Maybe that sting. But in a debate, I would guess that it, when you're in a debate yes. and someone says something, you should prove why you're not a false prophet. How about, how about if you're a prophet? Mm -hmm. You would have known that this would not have happened and you would not have invited me there because this is not a good look for the church, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're a real prophet, you would have already prophesied that, you know what? This is going to happen. We're not going to bring Vegas here. Because anyone think that this is good for the church, you need to get your head checked. Because when kids or young people see someone behaving in this manner, I can understand the fanatics because they are already lost. There's nothing that I or any conscious person can say, any spiritual person can say that, they are going to, that is going to change the minds of the fanatics. That this is not about religion. This is not about denomination. Denominations mean money. Mm -hmm. This is not about accepting 
what the slave master gave us any longer. This is about finding our spirituality. This is about what our ancestors were doing before they were taken into slavery. Were they running behind some religion that was created? Were they running around with a book? They were not. Because they got the book when they got here. They could not even read this book. So we are saying it is in your heart. Okay, so let's go back to, to the events of yesterday. The police escorted you out. Right. Was it, were they police officers? Escorted. Um, ushered. I found out after that some of them were police officers and some of them were instigating. Um, some of her impersonating, sorry. Police? Yes. So they were not police officers, but... They said they were police. They said they were? Right. Or you assumed they were because... I asked, were, I said, are you a police? Okay. One man flashed the back of his ID and I said, I want to see it, I want to see it. If you're going to touch me, I want to see your ID. And he refused, he put it back in his pocket. Did they violate your rights? That is up to the, 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 the law to decide. It, that, is, that, is, that, is, that is not on me to say that here. Are you filing a suit against them? This is not for me to say here, but if I, if I did something unlawful, mm -hmm. I would expect the law to deal with me in the manner so, where it's supposed to deal with me. So you, you do not conclude that they were unlawful in their escort of you from the building? The tape is there, you know, we can look back at it. Uh, will you be actioning this situation legally? This is not something that I'm addressing at this time. Mm -hmm. However, but you appeared I, very upset outside, and you were calling out uh, the police officers. No, no, I was asking you were them. Calling them. No, let me, let me tell you. Before I called out the police officers, I asked them, "Where is Jesus that we're supposed to be in the church praying to? Yeah. How comes Jesus could not keep some form of calmness in this gathering? Mm -hmm. Are we calling out the wrong name? Because this is supposed to be the house of the Lord, and that happened in the house of the Lord." And whether you want to be with me or against me, that is something that we need to think about. Because if this is the house of God, and that was allowed to take place in the house of God, then we need to check our heads. You were saying that one of them was going to his waist. What, what did you mean by that? There was a man there. He did not look like he was a part of the church group because the way he was dressed. Mm -hmm. And he was dipping. And I was like, are you going to shoot me? So you're going to shoot a Negro for a Negro that you have, maybe you never met this man before. And how did he respond? He was basically just toughing up. And then he disappeared when the police came. Did he have a gun? Did you see a I gun? I did not see a gun. I saw him dipping in his waist. Did not see oh. a gun. Okay. Right. Overall, do you feel that the police, you were violated at the event, outside or, or any, at any time? The, the, the video... The videos are all over the place, and I guess my people will take a look at it, mm. and, uh, and, and they will decide um, what we do from there, or we will decide what we do from there. Oh, so there is some possibilities of legal action from your side. Well, you know what? I have a team, mm -hmm. and we do take matters seriously when it comes down to Mr. Vegas' likeness and image, and I do have a brand to represent. Okay. Would you be willing to meet with the pastor? if he wants to meet with you? I will meet with him again in Half a Tree Square, maybe in the same church, yeah. as long as it's okay to play the tape. <laughs> you want to play the tape? <laughs> yes, but, I... Okay, but what if he wants a, a private meeting, one-on-one? -on -one? I want the people to hear the tape. He lied. Play the tape. Take your seat. Play take the seat. tape. Take your seat. All right, Vegas, take your seat. He is lying. Sit him down. He is a liar. Sit him a down. deceiver. Sit him down. Play the tape. And he lied to those people. And he's still going to preach at another church. And the video is clear where he said he did not say it. He said he was not calling these women whores and prostitutes. He said clearly. So what will suit it? He, he said if a pastor marries to a woman that is wearing makeup and lipstick, you married to a whore. How is that acceptable in our society where we have so many cases of violence against women? This is like everyone is taking this for a joke. Everyone is running around laughing and taking this for a joke. A 11 year old child, an 11 year old child got up when his 
people around him, is the adults around him. When I asked, is Honorable Portia Simpson, who I've seen in makeup before, is she a whore? Is Michelle Obama a whore? Is Oprah Winfrey a whore? And the whole church said yes. And the little boy, I saw his mouth move and he said yes. And I went for him. You saw that yesterday? I went for him. I said, do not listen to them. I said, this is what indoctrination does. This is not a joke. This is basically keeping women in abusive states where they are so afraid to even speak that they will accept a pastor to come to our shores in Jamaica, land of my birth. And people will accept that it is okay to call women whores and prostitutes for wearing makeup, for wearing false hair. How do you know she did not just do chemotherapy and she has no hair? And the only thing the wig is doing is enhancing her beauty. How do you know she did not just cut her two breasts off? It's not a joke. Why is he still on CVM? For bringing a man to our shores, calling our women prostitutes? For wearing nail polish? And I'm the one who is supposed to be the instigator, the one who went there to embarrass him? Of course he should be embarrassed. How did he come out of a woman? I, I, sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I wonder, why? God, you really created this being to speak to the mother of the earth like this? The mother, come on, man. Some of you are called for it, because it sounds like you're calling for something to happen. Of course. As far as this past is concerned. Of, he, should not be, he should not be on our TV station or television station in Jamaica. Straight. How many of us can leave here and go to anywhere in the world? and go publicly calling the women whores, prostitutes, sluts for just wearing lipstick and makeup. We can't even call people gay. We are banned. Look at that. Capitan, Sizzler, Elephant Man, Beanie Man, all of these people, visa problems. Bounty Killer, visa problems. Because we said we have a problem with the word, with, with people, lifestyle, or the way people conduct themselves, and we said, oh, no, no, we don't want them thing there. We don't want, we're not even talking about the people that are doing it. We're just saying, oh, no, me not gay. I can't do a song and say, I'm not gay. I will be banned from his country. So it's okay for him to come here in my country and call my sisters and mothers and nieces and cousins prostitutes and whore for wearing, not like they're walking around selling their bodies, for wearing makeup. No one is allowed to come into our shores. We already have enough mental, physical, verbal, every kind of abuse here in Jamaica where men are killing women and it starts with verbal abuse. When you think you can call a woman a prostitute for wearing hair, then that says a lot. What are you going to do next? Well, I think his defense is that you're taking, taking what he said out of context. Play the tape. And Play the and tape. And he was saying, if they're behaving like that, they're behaving like... Oh, so, like, okay, okay, let me quote. They're behaving like... If you are wearing a tight jeans where I can see your birth canal, you are a prostitute. If you are a pastor and you married to a woman that... Where these things she is you married to a whore. Amen. 